Hi there, join me this morning when I'm back in Lathkildale. So I'm back in the lovely location of Lathkildale. I really want to try and see the dippers this morning that I missed the last time I visited. Now, I came here about a month ago. Uh, it's now the middle of November. I came before in the middle of October and the conditions are quite similar. We've got good light, but it's a lot colder than it was. Um, it's uh, only about two degrees this morning, so it's quite cold, but who knows what will happen. I might see the dippers, I might not, but either way, I know I'm really going to enjoy my photography. So just at the moment I'm stood in the river, I've put my 24 to 200 millimeter lens on um, because the scene there in front of me is beautiful. The way that the river bends around this curve and there's a little bit of mist on the river that's been picked up by the morning sun and it's absolutely gorgeous. Now I've tried several different compositions. I've tried some from um, up at eye level and also down at low level to get this vegetation in the foreground. Um, now I will have to do a little bit of work when I get back into the computer just to lift the shadows because I've had to expose for the sky because I'm shooting almost straight into to the sun um, I don't want to burn out the highlights so I will be able to lift the shadows quite significantly when I get back in the computer so this should be a really lovely scene Now I know I said that I'm here for the wildlife this morning, but I couldn't resist turning my camera on this tree just here. Um, it's been illuminated by the sun and it's framed perfectly in this gap along the valley, um, but just so it's got the river in the foreground and it's just so picturesque. I just could not resist it at all. Um, and that's the beauty of photography. You can change your plans as the conditions um, just arise and give you something different. Um, just ahead of me now is a sunny spot by the river. So I'm gonna set up my seat and hopefully see some wildlife as well. So I've been set up here now for about 10 minutes just watching the river to see if there's any signs of life and just at the moment I haven't seen a great deal. There is a mallard on the other side of the river underneath some vegetation. Um, it's in the dark so it's not really very good, it's not coming out. Other than that I've not seen anything else except the swan that I saw as I got out of the car. Um, but I do keep getting drawn to lots of little details that I'm seeing at the side of the river, like little bits of grass and um, other interesting details in the landscape. So um, if it turns into a landscape shoot this morning, so be it. But I've got lots of time to wait and see if any birds do show up.
I've just had a little walk up the river and it's been quite productive. I've seen the dipper, I've photographed it and taken some video. Now, it wasn't as close as I would have liked it, but it's encouraging for signs further in the morning if it comes a little bit closer. Um, but at least I've got some photographs and I've also got some photographs of um, some grey wagtails again from a great distance so they're not particularly spectacular but it's encouraging signs at the moment i'm recording a dipper on the other side of the river um, it's quite a long distance away but what i've decided to do is put the cover up over the pop-up hide and I'm just crossing my fingers that maybe it will move a little bit closer because I'm sat right in front of a weir that you probably can hear over the microphone and if it comes a little bit closer and lands on this weir it will be a superb shot but it's all in just down to luck whether that happens or not but I think I'm giving myself the best chance. While I've been waiting here in the hide, I have seen some mallard. They've come over the weir and swum off down the river. I've seen a moorhen, and I've also seen three uh, little grebe swimming about. Um, and so I've got some nice video of those and some photographs. I think I must have been really fortunate last year to get so many good shots when I came up. Um, I'm also battling a little bit the fact that the river is a lot fuller this year and the weirs are very, very indistinct um, because there's so much water going over them. So were the um, dipper to come along, I don't know whether it would have a lot of space to land on top of the weir anyway. Um, but who knows, I'm still having a lovely time just sat here by this river and that's all that it's really about. I've just sat filming a mallard on a tree branch and as I was doing that, a little grebe swum into the frame and then as it swam out of the frame, a moorhen came in as well. So it just goes to show that having the hide up does make the birds feel more comfortable and I'm seeing a lot more, albeit not um, the dippers. But you never know, um, I've still got time and I might still see something. That's the way that wildlife photography goes sometimes. Um, I've sat here now for three and a half hours and I've had some lovely sightings. I've had a great time, but unfortunately those dippers were still fairly elusive. I did get some sightings and some photographs, but they weren't the best and they certainly weren't up to the same standards as the ones that I got last year. But I've still had a great time and that's what it's all about. So what I'll do is I'll leave you with some of my favorite shots from the morning.
I think the stars of this morning have been the little grebe and those landscape shots that I got first thing. I'm really pleased with those landscape shots and I wasn't expecting to get anything like that this morning. And that's a really important lesson. When you come out um, taking photographs, you've just got to take what nature throws at you and just adapt accordingly and not go home disappointed despite not getting any really good shots of the dippers. I've still had a really good morning and just enjoyed my photography. Well, if you have enjoyed that video, do let me know down below in the comments or nip over to my Instagram or Vero account. That's at Doughton Photography. Leave me your comments there and you can also see lots of my photographs. Now, if you like what I do on the channel and want to help support me to make future content like this, then you can also visit my Teespring store. There I've got a range of merchandise on offer, so head off over there because a purchase really does help me out and it's very much appreciated. But you don't have to spend any money at all to support the channel. You can do that simply by clicking like, subscribe and the bell notifications. It really helps me out and it makes sure that you don't miss out on any future content. Watch out for next week's video. That goes live on Sunday. In the meantime, you can go and check out this video just up here. But all that's left now is to say, stay safe and I'll see you soon.